Welcome back to Algo Traders program the ATP from Market Secrets. This is episode 3 of this series and in this episode we are going to learn about the hardware requirements for our Algo trading program. So, what are the hardware components you need to do Algo trading? Well, there can be lot of variations here based on the type of Algo trading you want to do. But here is what we use and the ATP traders should have. Number one, a system UPS. So this is not a home UPS. I'm talking about a system UPS. Why do we need it? Because sometimes the home UPS takes one second to kick in, one additional second to kick in. And if your algo is running and if there is a split second delay and if your system or Wi-Fi goes off, then that will interrupt its flow. We don't want that to happen. So a system UPS is very much necessary. But if you have a stable home UPS, that is some new UPS, which can handle it on its own, then you may not need a system UPS but I personally use a system UPS in addition to the home UPS. So that's the first thing that we would need. Number two, a Wi-Fi modem plus a SIM with data. So we would suggest at least a 1.5 GB per day data plan. So the SIM should have an internet connection with a proper data subscription pack. So that's mandatory. Even though I have a fiber connection, I still use the Wi-Fi modem because it's extremely reliable. My fiber connection might go down for a few minutes once or twice every month, but the Wi-Fi modem has always been stable over the years. So I prefer a Wi-Fi modem over fiber connection. Again here, it's your choice. If you want to take the risk with the fiber itself, go ahead. But this is what I personally use. Number three, a system or a laptop or a Raspberry Pi. You need a system to host your code and make it run. So that's where this comes in. So you either need a system that is a proper computer or a laptop or a Raspberry Pi. I personally use a Raspberry Pi. It's an independent system. I don't want to mix my other stuffs with this algo trading. So I have a dedicated Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi costs about 3000 rupees to 5000 rupees or even it has around 10,000 rupees. I personally use Raspberry 3, which costs around 3000 rupees. So it's again your call whether you want to use your existing system or laptop or you want to buy a Raspberry Pi, which costs around 3000 rupees. It's totally up to you. Number four, which is again an optional item, which is nothing but a smart plug. So it's a smart device or you can call it a smart plug as such, which can be used to turn on and off your Raspberry Pi or your Wi-Fi modem from any place. Even though its use is very limited, it gives me some additional control. For example, right, in some worst case scenario, if something goes terribly wrong, your script is struck or your platform is struck or your order is struck or something has happened. And if you abruptly want to turn off your Raspberry Pi or your Wi-Fi, to make sure that script has stopped running, you can just open an application in your mobile and using the smart plug, you can turn on and off your computer or your Wi-Fi remotely from any place. So that's the beauty of the smart plug. I personally use it, but you know, it's again optional. Maybe if you have someone at home always where you have all this uh, devices set up, right? And if they can on and off your machine on the go as and when uh, necessary, right? Maybe you don't need it. In most of the cases you won't need it, but just in case, just for any worst case uh, scenario, a uh, fallback or robustness, right? I'm using this particular item. And lastly, a home UPS. Again, it's an optional item because, you know, without UPS, right? So we can't rely on the power supply that uh, the government provides. So, you know, even if it wins out, even if uh, the power went out for a few minutes, right? So we won't be able to manage it. So a home UPS is a must, but if you want to, you know, go without it, if you want to risk it, it's up to you. So I use all of these items. So it's up to you to decide which one you want to use and which one you don't. I'll shortly show you how my setup looks like before that, right? Um, so if you don't have to buy all these items uh, afresh. 
so if you already have the resources you can use the existing resources itself for example if you already have a system or a laptop you can use it you don't have to buy a raspberry pi likewise if you have a fiber connection and if you want to take the risk of using it you don't even go have to buy a new modem or that is wi-fi modem you don't have to buy same with system ups and the home ups so it's up to you whether you want to you know buy it or you know not same goes for the smart plug as well it's again optional stuff so you can make use of the already existing system fiber connection home and system ups uh, it's totally up to you you can definitely use it but personally i prefer having a dedicated setup and resources for my algo trading platform so i have all of this separately but that's just me that's how i prefer your preferences might be different your situation might be different so make the decision on your own so now let's see how my setup looks like so this is my wi-fi modem and this is my raspberry pi so raspberry pi is nothing but a simple computer a 3000 rupees computer and this computer's purpose only purpose is to you know host and run that particular algo that we have created that's it okay so anyone can buy it um, so if you want to use existing system it's okay as well but this is what i use and this is my smart plug the vipro smart plug that i am using so the, I, I also have a relevant mobile app as well so i can turn on and off this plug any time using my mobile phone so this is what i personally use but it's again an optional stuff so this is my overall setup including my system ups so you see that system ups here my wi-fi the raspberry pi and i do have two uh, smart plugs here separately for each of these uh, you know uh, adapters so this is my uh, algo trading setup on a hardware side and yes uh, on top of this i have a home ups as well so this is how it looks like but um, you know wh what you want to do it's up to you so you you make that decision also some people might be interested in hosting it in cloud so if you want to host it in cloud you can very well do it but i haven't done it i don't know the, the technical requirements or you know technical stuff to do it but if you want to host it in cloud you can very well do it as well so it's up to you so if you want to host it in cloud you may not need any of this you won't need a system ups home ups you don't need a smart plug you won't need a internet connection you don't need a you know system or a laptop because everything is being provided by cloud but there might be some additional issues that you might face and uh, you know the cost of hosting might be much higher than this hardware costs as well so i don't know the details i i haven't done it but if anyone of you want to help me do it that'll be of a great help so with that note we are at the end of the today's session so we have a demo telegram channel dedicated to algo traders or atp members so that is where we will publish our algo trades and results on a daily basis and that is where all the details related to atp will be first published so if you are interested in atp you should definitely join that particular telegram channel to get the periodic updates link to the channel is available in the description section of this video please join if you are interested also we'll be starting the real time data feed of our algo trades on a daily basis so stay tuned in our youtube channel for the same so with that note we are at the end of today's session thanks for watching have a great day let's stay together for this exciting journey thank you